Alright, and welcome to MTG Anonymous. So today we're doing the Commander Combo Corner. And this is going to be featuring two card combos from Throne of Eldraine. Now necessarily, this does not mean that both cards are going to be from Throne of Eldraine, but one of the cards will be from Throne of Eldraine, and then another will be a pretty common card in Commander. Uh, this is going to be a new set of videos. It's going to be pretty regular. Uh, probably about once every two weeks or so. Let's go ahead and get into this one. If you like this one, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and then, as always, I'll respond as soon as I can. So let's go on to the first one. You Mill Me Cranky. It's a play on words. This two-card combo is Mind Crank and Sir Conrad the Grim. So first we'll go over what the cards do. Mind Crank for two. It's an artifact whenever an opponent loses life, that player puts that many cards from the top of his or her library into her graveyard, his or her graveyard, and then damage dealt by sources without infect costs loss of life. And then we have Sire Conrad the Grim. For three, a black and a black, you get a 5-4 Human Knight, legendary creature. Whenever another creature dies, or a creature is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature leaves your graveyard, Sir Conrad the Grim deals one damage to each opponent. And then for one and a black, each player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. So, what this says is whenever a creature dies, or creatures put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, meaning if we mill our opponent and a creature goes into the graveyard, each one of them deals, it gets one damage dealt to them. Now, why this matters is because Mind Crank, whenever an opponent loses life, damage dealt is lost life, is life lost, excuse me. So, basically, if we have in a situation where all of our opponents have a creature on top, they flip three, they each flip one, and then it triggers Mind Crank. And then if another creature gets put in, triggers Sir Conrad, triggers Mind Crank, and so on and so forth, and it'll keep going back and forth until no uh, creatures are put in. And then since Sir Conrad the Grim will already be out, you should have five mana, and then you'll be able to uh, use his ability at least twice. So, that, <laughs> I love Mill as most people can tell, and Mind Crank goes in almost every single one of my decks, and so that's why I love this combo. It works pretty well, it's not very hard to pull off. Uh, Black has plenty of tutors where you can go and get Mind Crank as soon as you have Sir Conrad out, and then Black also have lots of removal, so in case you miss, uh, miss a creature with Mind Crank, then you can just remove some creatures off the battlefield. Next, we're going to go into what's yours is mine. We have It the Betrays and Rankle Master of Pranks. For 12, you get a one, uh, an 11-11 Eldrazi with Annihilator 2. Annihilator says, when this creature attacks, defending player sacrifice two permanents. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent, put that card onto the battlefield under your control. Rankle Master of Pranks is... For two, a black, and a black, you get a 3-3 Fairy Rogue with Flying in Haste. When Rankle Master of Pranks deals combat damage to a player, choose any number. Each player discards a card. Each player loses one life and draws a card. Each player sacrifices a creature. Now, why does this combo matter? Because if you have Rankle out, then what your opponents will try to do, instead of removing Rankle, they'll just remove your other creatures, and then that'll make it extremely hard for you to be able to use that last ability for Rankle. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to use Rankle when it the Betray is out. So when each player sacrifices a creature, they sacrifice something and we get it, and then we can just sacrifice whatever. There are plenty of little 1-1 one -one creatures in black, there are plenty of recurrable creatures in black that you can get back from the graveyard, and so Rankle Master of Pranks is a pretty good card. And then once you have creatures from your opponent, then you can just grab it. You can just sacrifice those creatures instead of sacrificing your own. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Another good card that goes with this is Living Dead. If it the betray dies, you can use Living Dead to bring it back. So, well, preferably you'd want it the betrays and rankle master of pranks to die. If they both die at the same time, use Living Dead. Bring it, bring them both back. Next is, would you like lands with that? So for this combo, we have Abundance and True Lane Teller of Tales. 
Abundance for two, a green and a green, you get an enchantment. If you draw a card, you may instead choose land or non-land and reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put that card into your hand and put all other cards revealed this way on the bottom of your library in any order. Two lane tailor, teller of tales for two, a green, a white, and a blue. You get a 2-4 human dru uh, druid, legendary creature, uh, has vigilance. When you cast a creature spell, draw a card, then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. And then for 3 and tap, return target creature you control to its owner's hand. So, what do I love about this combo? You can put at least 2 lands, well, you could possibly put 2 lands on the battlefield every single turn. Why do I say possibly too? So what happens is, for your first draw step, you choose land, you draw a land, you play your land, and then if you have a creature in your hand, once you play the creature, two lane triggers, you search for a land again, using abundance, well not search, you draw until you find a land, right? And then, you get to put that land on the battlefield too. Now, what's great about two lane, is that you can pay the three and tap it, and then you get to return a creature you control to its owner's hand. What's great about that is, when it comes out, it's already a 5 drop. You should have abundance out uh, You should have abundance out before True Lane comes out anyway, and so if that's the case, what will end up happening is every turn you'll be able to get a land. And then, since you'll have 1, 2 drops or creatures with flash, you return them on your opponent's turn, you drop them, and then you can drop a land then. And last but not least, we have Blue Infinite Combo. So, I saw this one on Twitter, actually. Uh, it actually entertained me. Day 2 Dryden is the one that I saw it from, so shout out to Day 2 Dryden. Uh, first we have Deprive for 2 Blue. It's an instant as an additional cost to Deprive, return a land you control to its owner's hand, and then you counter target spell. Mystic Sanctuary is a land island, which of course you tap for blue. Mystic Sanctuary enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three or more other islands. When Mystic Sanctuary enters the battlefield untapped, you may put target instant or sorcery from your graveyard on top of your library. While this isn't necessarily an infinite combo, you will always have a counter spell. I just like to put blue infinite combo because I couldn't think of another name, and somebody will probably mention it in the comments, which is fine with me. I deserve it. Uh, so basically, what'll happen? You play, you counter something with Deprive, you return uh, Mystic Sanctuary to your hand. When you can play Mystic Sanctuary, Preferably in a Chew Lane deck, because that'll help you out a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, once you play Mystic Sanctuary, you get to return Deprive back to your top of your library. And then if you're playing Chew Lane, you can play a card, you can play a creature and draw a card. So, What's great about this is in Chew Lane decks, if you have Flash creatures for one or two, which there are plenty of in Bant. You can flash in a creature, play the Mystic Sanctuary, put Deprive on top of your library in response to the land entering. And then, next time you draw, you get to pick Deprive back up. And it can also help you from milling out. Uh, you can save yourself one or two times. It's a pretty good combo. Well... That is it for this set. I think I'll go back and do a couple infinite combos from the previous sets. Uh, I think uh, 20. Core set 20 is what I need to work on. So that will probably be the next commander combo corner. I enjoyed making this video. Like I said in the beginning, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be mentioning a new giveaway in the next video.